Okay, well they finally came. We have Oh oh now we're now we're killing trees with your stupid equipment you don't even use. Oh, oh don't forget to remind Western Chun of a tripping hazard. Yeah, well we just created more. Look at this Yahoo. Oh man. Okay, so now the city is coming to do a raid and destroy trees. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. But anyhow, welcome to day 208. Uh, raid 22 is uh, being finalized finally. We had like a couple false starts there. But <laughs> but as you can see, we are now uh, pushing this with uh, Hawaii Vacations. So that way people in the public that want a vacation here in Hawaii, they know exactly what HPD Tulsi Gabbard's crew and uh, Wesley Chum wants to do. <laughs> so come vacation in Hawaii if you want the police to attack you. <laughs> oh, Lordy, Lordy. Bam, right into some trees. Man, what is that? <laughs> it's, a, it's probably a new guy. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, you know? Ooh. That's horrible. Ooh. What's up? What is, what, is, what is that? What is three strikes? Hey, Chris. They're going to both tape around here, so if you can go outside of the tape, please. <laughs> they want all sorts of room. Well, I guess we stand on the wall, right? We can stand on the wall? No. Right. It'll be on the ins uh, outside of the tape, right? <laughs> oh, oh, so now they pick up stuff and move it into the area, right? What is that stuff? What is that? What, what was that deal? Come on now. <laughs> Picking up stuff and moving it into the area of their, uh, what, what do they call this now? A construction area? <laughs> Danger! Throw it at her! Men throwing shit! I got it, I got it. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> so anyhow, as you see, they're messing with the house list. This lady down here, uh, we specifically asked for help for, because we've been trying for a couple days to get help, and Trish was unable to do anything for her except for giving her uh, a warning about Bill 54 and that her stuff is going to be taken while she's awaiting help. So they're going to be coming here to steal her stuff and then help her. Look at me on camera. Look at me. I'm already famous. <laughs> and she's a really good sport about the camera. It's really cool. Okay, so, I mean, does that seem right? To offer help? And not help her until you steal her stuff. Well, priorities. Priorities, right? <sighs> the office of me, Alvin. Huh? <sighs> Luckily, we uh, provided a means for most of her stuff to be uh, saved. But uh, if nobody out there gave some kind of compassion, she would lose everything. While the city gives uh, a thing of trying to help. stuff, guys. You really want to take signs? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no. That stuff was not tagged. Was Be not careful tagged. with Come that. On. That Come stuff on. was I, not tagged. I'm respectfully asking you to Come on, guys. not taking stuff that you, The officers need to go over this. Come now on, they're guys. stealing again. <laughs> Seriously, when are you guys going to do your jobs? Come on, man. <laughs> you want me to remain calm, and I'm really trying here, guys. Do your job. Do your job. You know that stuff wasn't out. That's illegal. It's a city ordinance, and you have the power to do something. We're so sick of this playing this game stuff. I mean, this is getting bull. Stop stealing. You know that wasn't there. 
Look over their paperwork. You are an enforcer of the city ordinance. Find the pictures that shows that this was here yesterday. Get it on camera. Well, we have to listen to you, but they don't have to. No, it's not. It's not selective service here, man. We don't do this kind of stuff. That stuff wasn't out. You know, I, I'm so trying to be calm here. People don't understand. Sorry, Jesus. This is what we have. It's my job. Yeah, see, we're, we're, we're just going to take stuff that blatantly isn't in hey, that picture that hey, I have on film. Make sure I figure out my time. Can you time. get this on camera while I release it? Yeah, yeah, I mean, just stay it around here because they're feeling stuff right now, so I can't take this off. That's not even in the picture, man. She's looking at a picture with that stuff not in it. And you're letting her steal it. You wonder why people are pissed. You want me to stay calm, somebody needs to do their job. You're an enforcer of the law. Enforce it. This is another one here that caused up a headache. We're all gonna take this. Everyone ready? You have a Carnival Malahoy. Hang on. Right in the Hawaii State Constitution, Article 9, Section 10, as follows. Section 10. The law of slaughtered cattle. Mama Malahoy Carnival. No, no, that's a thief! Thief! You know that's not in your picture! Thief! Why you let him do that, man? Do you have fun with your job like that? Whatever, man. Okay, they just recited the law to splinter paddle to them, so they can't say they don't know what it is. Thieves! You are not upholding the law. You are not law enforcement. You want respect, earn it. What is your job? Just stand there with an umbrella looking like Mary Poppins? Yeah. <laughs> Section 10, the law of splintered cattle, the Malahoy Kanavai, the free back man may have the first. Let, el let every elderly person, woman, and child lie by the roadside in safety. Shall be a unique and living symbol of the state's concern for public safety. The state shall have the power to provide for the safety of the people from crimes against persons and property. 1978, Hawaii State Constitution. I gave one to my judge. Very <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, America Day! Yay! Don't pay your taxes. Don't pay your taxes. Don't pay your taxes. Don't pay. Your taxes. Don't pay. I put a uh, hashtag Hawaii vacation on here. I'm now going to start bringing it to the Hawaii vacation site. Hey, thanks for paying taxes. Thank you. 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 Thank
Not in the picture. And if she has them, she's lying to you. Look for the date. She's a thief and a liar. She advocates to help the homeless after she steals from them. When is law enforcement here going to give a care about this? You guys think it's funny? I see you smirking. I see you smirking. Don't think it's funny when you throw someone on the street and steal their stuff. Say you're going to help them after you steal their stuff. I saw you, man. Don't think it's funny. That doesn't do you any good or anybody in this state. It makes your state look like shit. And you're enforcing it. Yeah, smile away, man. You're on candy camera. It's cool. So are you, though. Can I ask why? You need whatever you want. Moron. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, that's what I said. You know, I really want to stay calm. I really do. I, but it's really hard when you see this kind of garbage. They have no respect for their own laws. It really ticks me off that they're they're telling this lady they're going to help her out and steal her stuff. Yeah. It'd be a lot calmer if they weren't doing it. I, I just... That's... that's Yeah. Let's help someone after we steal their stuff. I'm using it right now, man. I'm sorry, but I can't... I, I'm trying to film this and let everybody know. I'm sorry, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Uh, yeah, I only have the one phone, and right now I'm trying to document all this for everybody she doesn't have those pictures how is this man how, how are you going to let her take stuff that she doesn't have the photographs of there was only one chair out here and you know it one chair there was one chair okay you want to see the videotapes I want to see these pictures is she keeping old photos and now just using stuff that chair? No, all those other chairs that she's throwing out. She, there was only one chair out here yesterday. One. And we definitely have it documented. She's a thief. And she advocates to help the homeless as she steals from them. How are you going to sit there and do that? She's the head of that department and she couldn't get someone out here to help her until two days from now so she could steal their stuff. This is about property. It has nothing to do with helping people. You're a fake. Hashtag Hawaii Vacation. Hashtag Hawaii Vacation on Twitter. Take a look. You know, we try to play nice. We're going to make this uh, really rough. Make sure you always hashtag Hawaii Vacation when it's dealing with this stuff. Just go ahead and blow up on Twitter. Just get the rest of the nation in on it. Yeah, no doubt. Well, you, you know, it's hard to investigate themselves. What the fuck is your guys' function here? Pay your taxes, the indigenous person who killed that might be you! So the recap, we're all trying to maintain our souls, but uh, on a recap, we have a houseless person here that is in dire need of some help. And uh, when we asked the city to do something about it, after we tried for a couple days and the city kept denying her, they decided to make an appointment for her two days later so they could still steal her stuff. So to advocate to help only comes after they hurt you more. There's no uh, rhyme or reason to it. Her only ambition in life is to steal property. It has nothing to do with helping people. 
And the police force here, like that one gentleman that keeps smirking and laughing, feel that this is appropriate behavior. So when their mother or their father or their relatives ends up on the street and they got to stand there and watch someone steal their stuff. Idiots. But anyhow. Yeah, they don't, they don't care. They don't care. They do dirt on a regular. Yeah. They have no compassion for their people or their citizens. Have you ever served or protected? No. No fucking She's holding evidence to show that we don't, they don't have this stuff. And they don't care. Can you tell me a story of a time you served or protected? One story? One? So anyhow, right now they're taking a look. Look at that one individual take a look at our artwork and, wow. and adores the bullhead there as he's trying to figure out, is there a means for me to keep it? <laughs> and don't say they don't because we caught 12 individuals selling the stuff to the prisons, correct? That's right. Right, the permit heads, that yeah. People, in the back of that truck people that was within the system. Yeah. So we already know what kind of stuff yeah. you guys are up to. That's right. So just keep stealing and making a profit off of those that are unfortunate. You gotta make your quota. Yeah. Quota. Man, on the street, it's not funny, man. In the county, 200. When you've been targeted and profiled over 20 times, you know there's something going on. Stay your back, man. Don't kill the indigenous. Don't kill the indigenous. Yeah, we have signs that were displayed. This ain't even America's property. They're fucking loser cops. Fucking loser I wonder, cops. I wonder since you guys never got jurisdiction to change this into the park, if Mondori can get off on, on that. Because they arrested her in this area, which was illegally rezoned, right. without the permission of the Hawaiians, which we know through the apology bill. Okay. The land was illegally obtained and still is under illegal occupation. So yeah, they're still trying to decide what they're going to do with the artwork. Uh, they're filming and taking pictures of it. Even though they're going to take it anyways. You know, there's a lot of glass and stuff that's there. We'll see the kind of care they give when they throw it into that plastic bag and how they're going to treat this stuff. So we know they don't... They're, they're not caring about people or what's going on. It's a sad, uh... Sad bill. Huh? Oh, yeah. Sad day. Sad day for a while. We've had 22 of these going on. Yeah, there's just a bunch of thieves. They don't care. They take whatever they want. No, there was a lot of stuff that wasn't tagged. Look, I won't go beyond the tape. Hey! Well, we have a right to protection of property. You, you have to realize we have a right to protection of property and self. And if you're going to hinder her life and steal our property, that becomes a problem and you're not doing anything about it. We want to work with you guys. We really do. You are not allowing the lawful means of this action to go to be taken lawfully. You're allowing them to illegally steal stuff and hinder someone's life. Not allowing anything. Oh yeah, you you are standing here allowing it. She has. I've been trying to help her for over two days now. She's been thrown out on the street by the city twice. She calls, still doesn't get anybody here, but make sure she has an appointment after her stuff is stolen. That means you're not about people, you're about property. You want her stuff to hurt her, and that's what you are allowing. So if you're going to jeopardize her life and steal our stuff, we have a right to, right to protect it. 
the HD table, that's mine. No, and the other thing, as far as the concern, I can do a citizen's rush. She doesn't have proof for all that. She's stealing. Oh now see, like I've tried to say, help her. That's hack. What? That's Yeah. That's So. When are you guys gonna start helping people? That's all we want to know. When you're gonna start helping people? She lied to the public. She didn't help her. She's stealing her stuff. We have a right to protect our stuff and property, man. You guys, you have to stop this shit. You, we have a right. We have a right. So either you allow us to be nice about this, and you guys do something about it, or we have to. You can't keep us from our property or my residence. Can I? Can you stop yelling? And can I talk to him like a person? Hey. Don't you think it's a little um, off to violate the, the, the law of the Simpsons title that's on your badge right now? They've already heard all of it. What happened to being able to claim property? Why, why is it just being destroyed? Why, can, you, can you answer my question? That's artwork that they're just destroying. Weren't you, you sworn to, to uphold the Constitution? You guys want to go yeah. Yeah. No, I had every intention of picking that up in 30 you know days, that, and now it's destroyed. That's a corporate piece of property there, that red box. Look at the permit oh, on what, how, when that expired, that's and it's still there. And why the fuck did you take my chair? It's all about hindering people, hurting people. Why the fuck did you take all those chairs? We're asking for you to do me that. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And you're fucking over. That's not right. And you know it. Stop it. How's Otto okay? It's gonna stonewall. Is it good? Do your fucking job. I'm not being paid to do this shit. Do your fucking job. How hard is that? Yeah. Mm. I'm fucking retarded. That's why I'm a police officer, because I can't think for myself. You know the damn law, man. This shit isn't right. Stop it. That's all we're asking, and then I'll get out of your fucking face. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Every single one of you is part of a fucking criminal conspiracy to steal and destroy property. You don't think that at some point there's going to be consequences to that? Look at how long we've been here. There'll be a consequence. <laughs> Every Woo! single one. You have a duty to uphold the law. That is your fucking job. Go do it. Oh, you gotta call a sheriff, bro. If you like somebody uphold the law, call a sheriff. Already. These guys it's don't do shit. Willful intent to allow Come them on, Andy. to destroy stuff and steal stuff that Anyhow. doesn't matter. You are supposed to be here to make sure that the law is being followed. You made the point. They don't care. Hey, you're confused by who they are. That's not them. That's the sheriff. This guy, his only existence exists off of him ticketing us and taking money from us. Putting us in jail. Putting us in jail for nothing. Collecting money for us, for housing us in the jail. Paying our fines. That's the only reason he's standing. The uh, lady's trying to talk to the police, but they're not even listening to her. They don't care. We got a bulldozer here hauling stuff away. We're caution taped off. Uh, they've taken stuff without uh, proof that it was even tagged. It wasn't out, so they're just stealing stuff. Uh, they offered to help this lady after two, two days of me and another person trying, and uh, their response was, yeah, we'll help you, but after we steal your stuff. Because um, yesterday, uh, Trish set up an appointment for her that was supposed to take place today or Friday, and have yet to come out to help this individual, but she's stealing her stuff right now. And that's where the problem is shown. It's uh, it's about property. It has nothing to do with helping individuals. She showed compassion yesterday, but today she's showing that all she wants is people's property. With all this heavy equipment, then driving through and destroying trees in the park, 
uh, stealing of items, hindering people's lives that is a need. I am stepping back. Back? I'm stepping back. You lot guys are fucking This is a horrible scene. So hopefully uh something comes about of this because they got a pile of stuff that they're ready to take with no pictures of any of this stuff illegally being obtained. Hey, thanks for helping this lady, Trish. Day 208, raid 22. Check out uh, hashtag OHNL or hashtag Hawaii Vacation and uh, see for yourself. That should probably tell you something. That maybe everything that's going on right now isn't exactly right. And then how they're just tearing up the road here, blocking everything in the way just to steal a houseless person's stuff. And not pick up the trees. Yeah, they, they leave the damage from the weather on the tree, cause more damage to more trees, which is their job to maintain. But instead they rather block traffic, the police let them, steal items, not help anybody, and let them do that. They only enforce yeah. the law against the cops. Yeah. I mean, look at this. They blocked off a whole road. For what? Careful, guys. This is nuts. This is the type of stuff we do in Hawaii. Hashtag Hawaii vacation. <laughs> this is what you guys do. Wow. We have stopped all traffic here. I guess I'm allowed to walk in the street now, correct? Since you blocked it off. You don't allow people to walk down the... Sidewalk. <laughs> you block off the whole freaking road for this. Is this efficient? <coughs> Whatever. Look at this garbage. What an idiot. They blocked off a whole entire road just to steal a houseless lady's stuff. Yeah. That's what this comes down to. Because they found someone in actual need, this is what they do. Hey, go to the gas station. It's a Hawaii vacation! Woo! Yeah, party town! Yeah! We love Hawaii! <laughs> you know, it's such a beautiful, beautiful state. And it offers a lot for a lot of people. And but the police force does this. That's that's where the problem is. We can show uh, most nations a better world because why is already uh, set up in that fashion. Just needs implementation. You know, we could be the, the better of the world to show them a better life. But when it comes down to police and corporate control on the government. You still have this. All of this stuff being taken. Blocking of the road. Just to steal from the houseless. This is this is a huge statement and uh They're doing this because they refuse to help a houseless lady and want to steal her stuff. They refused help to the houseless. Their help is to steal her stuff. This is what they do to people on the road instead of helping them. Your tax dollars doesn't keep people off the streets. It keeps them on the streets to die. Your tax money isn't helping anyone but a means to die on the street. Your people are being jeopardized because of corporate greed.
No, you're actually putting it into a way. If you can stop playing with the tape and getting yourself or anybody in trouble. Seriously. Thank you. They do. seen any tour buses come through which is kind of interesting it's like maybe they gave them a heads up so they wouldn't come through to see this because <laughs> we don't want our people that uh, come to visit and support this to see this <laughs> Now that was a perfectly good desk that has value that you just destroyed. That is my desk. It has value. It's a desk. Buy a desk in this area and see how much it costs. That guy over there that keeps smiling and laughing is about to start an issue. I'm really getting sick of that guy out there. Is this how we use? Calm your stuff, man. Have some compassion. Helping people and property. Look at that. You're supposed to store stuff with value. And look at what he's doing. Things of value is supposed to be stored. They're crushing the items of value. Of stuff that's worth three, four hundred more. I'm not inside the taped area. Well, you blocked off the road, man. The next time you'll be sighted for jaywalking. Hey, well, you know what? Okay, they get all these other people out of here. They're, they're, they're directing traffic. We're going to go okay. through that corner. Okay. Don't threaten me, man. Well, then don't threaten me. You don't allow a walkway, then I'm walking. Allow a walkway. Allow a walkway. That's plain and simple. You don't allow a walkway, a path, this should be open. No, 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 no. You guys have violated a houseless lady's rights. You're violating ADA rules. So get it right. Don't threaten me. Hey, hey, sir. 
What? Oh, no, they've torn the tape down, so yes, I am allowed here. Watch it. So they took some of our signs, freedom of speech. No, they, they, we have a lady that's actually houseless that asked for help that the city has denied for two days. And then Trish, the one that's running the uh, home shelter, decided to steal her stuff before they gave help. How do you feel about that? You feel that's good to the Hawaiians? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You think that's good activity that a Hawaiian deserves? They have their stuff stolen when they're asking for help? Straight out asking for help. A rape victim that's on the streets and you just stole her stuff. You just stole her stuff with the city knowing that there's a problem and refused help. That's what you're advocating for. And you wonder why we've been out here for six months. Because nobody has compassion for humanity. It's all about property. You stole her stuff and said, good job, good day. You think that's right? Is that what Hawaii is about? You know it's wrong. So how do you feel about stealing from the houseless that needs help? Yeah, exactly. You know it's wrong. It's not what Hawaii is about, is it? She's been asking for help. She's a rape victim that needs help. And you guys just stole her stuff for help. That's what you answer to, to steal her stuff. Makes you feel good at the end of the day, doesn't it? That you just stole her stuff and is asking for help and you refuse to help her besides stealing her stuff. That's what you guys do for your job. Don't think that, that they're trying to clean up the streets. They want her stuff. They aren't offering help. Your tax dollars that you pay with your paychecks pays for this activity for you to harm people. Did you hear those two officers try to threaten me with stuff? It's like, whatever. Get a life. I ain't listening to that. You know, <laughs> oh my God. I think I did good, though. I kept my calm for the most part. I mean, from what I usually do. For, for you, yeah. Yeah, for me. <sighs> God. Dang. But that one there. That one there. He doesn't care. He just wants to laugh at people and point at them. And keep talking about how he's hurting people. You, why do you feel it's so necessary to laugh and point at people? Why do you feel it's necessary to steal their stuff? Huh? That's disrespectful, man. People are in need of help. Real help. You can't say you can't see that. You just let them steal her stuff. Now they're going after the houseless on this end. Let's see what they do today with the houseless. These people. You're supposed to advocate for a better Hawaii. Not to hurt Hawaii. Not to hurt people. No one should be allowed on this island if all they're going to do is hurt people. We have a better standard of living here for a reason. And it ain't because of your job that you're doing. You're a fucking asshole. And can you get the picture of that fucking Hawaiian bitch or whatever she is? The one that's laughing. That one. The fucking soul joke. Uh, excuse her, she's highly, uh, upset. She's been denied help several times, and they just, uh, 
went through to steal some of her stuff that we weren't able to save ourselves. We saved most of her stuff, but they, they don't care. And fucking laughing this way. The Philippines She is too laughing. She is too laughing. She thinks it's funny that she's hurting people here. I know. That's like that. Get the fucking bitches picked up. She's a fucking terrorist with a job. She says no. This is the true face of terrorism. Fucking asshole. Hashtag Hawaii vacation. Fucking, <laughs> fucking asshole. You guys are fucking stupid. Look at this. All this personal stuff yeah, being thrown about. Said they were you know, we, we got Disney movies here. We have yeah. clothes. We have personal things and they don't give to a help the people through their day of having to deal with this. And they don't give a fuck. No. They don't give a fuck. No, it's four people. They don't give a fuck. It's four people on the other. Why, so you say, have your bullshit smile all the morning? You fucking Filipino thief loser. Don't, don't be racist, okay? Seriously. Well, don't I'm be. not. Yeah, well, then She's stop the acting that like that. Good. That's not right. She's the one this, good. This, this shouldn't be about race. Don't turn this back off, too. You leave me a tool. But my wife won't feel a Filipino. What? I don't care. It's the Filipino bitch that's laughing. Sorry about that, man. Sorry about that, man. Well, no. It's, you, you, do, do you, she's actually here because she's been asking for help for days and the city keeps saying no. So why do you think she know, huh? Teach them the right way. Teach them the right way. Why don't you help her? Why don't you help her? Oh no, you're not. Seriously, man. A paycheck for being fucking racist. See, right there, that that was a perfect example. What they want us to teach how people to be respectful to to those that refuse to help and steal their stuff. That makes no sense. People pay millions of dollars in tax money to solve this issue. And this is how you guys want to approach it. And then he wants to tell me I have to give her a lesson in how to be respectful while they steal her stuff and refuse to help her. I don't advocate for racism. I think that's wrong. But you want help, You want to help her, maybe she would change her mind on how things are going here. The system has failed. You guys completely failed her and the whole system. And you're fucking lost. This is what Bill 54 is about, is bad stuff, items. It has no concern about helping people. And that bitch said the chairs were marked. They were not showing me. No, anything. they weren't marked. She stole. She's a thief. There was only one chair out yesterday. She stole. She's a thief. Her compassion yesterday to help an individual shows up what it is today. Steal their stuff. And you're the department head, huh, Trish? You couldn't just hold off one more day to try and get this lady some help. Yeah, today Trish doesn't want to deal with it because she knows she's wrong. I know, Trish. It's shameful you leave this lady on the street. Oh, God, oh, oh, but you had to make sure you stole her stuff before she had help. That's the problem. You're not advocating to help anyone. You showed compassion yesterday, but today you show your true sight. Just steal stuff. You went out to hurt her before she got help. If she even gets it. You couldn't hold off just one day to help make sure you help the person that's in serious need. Now you're raping away someone else. Well, since they just got a small little tent uh, area, I'll just go over here. Personal belongings for people to be able to survive on the street. They know it. This is a city, county of Honolulu. I think that this is a, 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 a resourceful way of prioritizing. Does anyone think that this, that taxpayer dollars, should be utilized?
mad if we steal from the house list? Do you guys believe or acknowledge the crimes that you that you are committing right now? You showed the real fault of the system today, Trish. Article 9, Section 10 of the Hawaii State Constitution. You purposely went out the to hurt an Chicago, individual before you helped them. Mamoa Hawaii Kanabai, decreed by Kamehameha the first, let every elderly person, woman, and child lie by the roadside in safety, shall be a unique and living symbol of the state's concern for public safety. The state shall have the power provide for the safety of the, of the people from crimes against persons and property. This HPD, the city and county of Honolulu, think that this is a good way to prioritize their resources? Does anyone believe here that this, that this is what their job is to, to do? Would you be doing this if this was not your job? How many of you think that just because it's legal means that it's right? And do you guys think that this is a, a really good way to address a houseless issue? Instead of helping people, we're taking the stuff away from them? Imagine that this is all you had and you were on the roadside. And outside entities came here and told you you cannot sleep here when you have no place to go. What if any of these people here were your family? Would you really be here if it wasn't your job? I'll recite it again. Article 9, Section 10, Hawaii State Constitution. The law of the splintered paddle, Mamalo Hawaii Kanavai, decreed by Kamehameha I, let every elderly person, woman, and child fly by the roadside in safety, shall be a unique and living symbol of the state's concern for public safety. The state shall have the power to provide for the safety of, pe of the people from crime against persons and property. Does HPD, the city of County, believe that this is, that this bill, Bill 54, is only addressed to property and not people? And I wonder how many of you think that this is a good way to use your money. Hashtag Tulsi Gabbard. Let her know what you feel about Bill 54. Hashtag Hawaii Vacation. Look up what kind of vacation spots you have here and what kind of horror would happen if you stayed there. Is anyone there for that? When the hotel representative Hashtag Neil Abercrombie. Let the governor know how you feel about their attack on humanity. Hashtag Mayor Carlisle, the mayor that made sure that this bill passed through under Tulsi Gabbard's command. How you can how you can correctly and effectively criticize or judge a society is when you look at the they there purposely set up an appointment after she knew she was going to steal their stuff to hurt her more, to make her farther down in the gutter, to make sure that this lady had nothing that would go with her of any privacy, just to hurt her, this lady here, the department for the home, for the housing, purposely hurt her went out of her way to hurt an individual that for days has been trying to get help and doing everything that she was supposed to do and was thrown to the street over and over again because the city refuses to help people. Can someone please tell me if this is a good way for us to help each other as a whole? And 
Using to help those individuals. That's the bigger crime. You pay to help the individuals, but you refuse to help them. That one lady laughing about it too. What is up with these people? <laughs> Hashtag Hawaii Five O. <laughs> Hawaii Police Department is nothing like what you see on Hawaii Five O. They spend a lifetime to run around and steal people's stuff and hurt people. This is what they do. <laughs> They don't have fancy cars, they have semi-fancy cars, and they hurt people. They don't help anyone. <laughs> they didn't do a big investigation to find out exactly what is needed to help individuals. They did a big action to hurt them. Yeah. Hawaii is a developed state or country, depending on how you want to look at it. Either way, it's developed. We are not third world. This is not Ethiopia, ran by drug lords. We are a civilized community, and you're hindering that. We can't make you wear clothes open on Fridays, because you guys have to yeah. people's Yeah, they, they don't care about the, the stuff there. They, they only want property. That has worth to them. It's fun for them to hurt people. Flatly refuse to help individuals just so they have time to steal from them and hurt them more. What if everything in that load is all you had? Yeah, my phone's starting to glitch, guys. Sorry about that. Hopefully it uh, keeps going. See, today it's running fine, but yesterday... Something was going on. Two youth stream accounts was affected by what they were doing yesterday. Do you still take people's stuff away? Because it looks like trash to you. How quickly uh, have you forgotten? Sorry if I blocked the view for a little bit. I gotta take and plug in my external power here. So hopefully I can keep this youth stream going for you guys. We got we got over well, 55 minutes worth of footage here. This has been a long action today, and as you've seen, they had a lot of stuff that they were going on with blocking the traffic Brother, and uh, going through and stealing whatever they want. Look behind your paycheck. But, uh, you just threw someone's bedding yeah. away. It's probably wet because it rained on us last night. And it was really cold. Look I know you guys are all doing fine at home with your warm beds and your houses, but understand... Oh, why are we back there? The we could be right here. There's no okay. People who don't have these, who don't have money. I know Look it's at funny. You guys... Even corporate property isn't protected here. Just crushing this stuff. Destroying it. 
In no way are they trying to help or hold the stuff for it. Destruction of property. You guys understand what's going on here? A person's been asking the city for help for three days. Three days asking the city and they kept refusing. So they came out here to steal her stuff. Your tax dollars are paying to help people and they have no interest in it. It's only to destroy property. This is what Bill 54 is for. It's only about property. It has no means to help an individual. The department head for housing up there that gets paid $80,000 a year to help the houses get off the street refused help and came back with this army of people to steal her stuff. That's why we've been here for six months and you guys haven't understood. This is what we've been fighting. You think it's right? You think it's right for Hawaii? Is this the ultimate Hawaii vacation that hurt people? Yeah, man. Yeah, I got the I got the ride and everything to take care of. Thank you. Right. Your resources are being used systematically. Watch this big, awesome display. Just a raise to make sure you can crush this stuff real good. Watch this stuff. State of Hawaii, city and county, in their last beat against a houseless individual. Destroying people's homes because they refuse to help them under Bill 54. After you stole her stuff, it's a little too late now. Trisha said now they're going to come up and help her. Yesterday she couldn't get someone here, but now they're going to come and help her after they stole her stuff and just destroyed it. No compassion. Very easily she could have had that individual help this lady yesterday when we kept advocating and asking. Two days before that, three days straight of asking for the city's help with one person. Trish sent you guys out for this. That's what Bill 54 is. Don't don't keep believing their lies on why you guys are here. Yeah, the church is now trying to tell them that they're here to help. It's a little too late after they just destroyed her stuff and stole it. It's, it's no excuse because someone's busy. You made sure they came out and stole her stuff. Horrible. Now she's advocating because they tried to help once before and the system failed her and kicked her out. That this means that they could do this. The system failed her. The system allowed her to be on the streets. The system showed no compassion or ability to really help an individual. Failed her, stole her stuff, and then says, okay, we're going to try and help you again. Well, if they keep giving that kind of help out, how does she ever get off the street? How does she ever become better? How can she become part of the system 
and live a productive life. This is horrible. For Georgia society is when you look at the people at the bottom. She's a product of the system that you're working for. Please understand, she is only a product of this system. And that your job... At least I can see in the eyes of a few individuals, they're not happy with what happened today. Once again, they've seen the system completely fail and do something that was just completely wrong against humanity. I wish uh, the system would just grow up and learn to evolve and show some compassion. People want to know why I get so upset and now you're seeing it. And nobody seems to want to really care right now. These people think they're doing a great job by uh, hurting them. It's horrible. How's it going, man?